and welcome to another video. Now, I've been thinking about uh, this video for a little while and I don't have a script and this is going to be mostly just, um, you know, off the top of my head, but I have got been thinking about this video for a little while now. Um, so, um, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Uh, I would explain if my dog would stop rubbing ahead head up against my chair. Turning around, seriously. Anyway, um, it you know it's the latest game as of now in the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, um, and to properly understand why I'm ranting about it, we have to quickly take a look at the games that preceded it. Five Nights at Freddy's one was you know very scary, but didn't have much uh, law or anything, and it, uh, um, they did like start seeding uh, some stuff some law. FNAF 2 really started uh, focusing on uh, started like uh, building up the law. Um the law with the purple guy killer and it, uh, uh, the souls inside the animatronics and it, um all that. Then FNAF 3 um again for each each subsequent one for me are pretty much more and more focused on law. Uh, we basically uh, saw um, in FNAF 3, Purple Guy, the killer, um, get spring locked and uh, become a spring trap. And we released the uh, spirits. Oh, wait, we got that? No, we saw that in. F yeah, no, we saw that in FNAF 3. Um, and, uh, you know, we released the spirits of the um, murdered children. And uh, uh, Fazbear flies bear into the ground, and uh, Springtrap did survive that, but um, that was that wasn't something that got tacked on later. That was uh, in the ending um, newspaper. If you brighten it up, so um, yeah, Springtrap survived that. Uh, FNAF four. Um, while I didn't focus on William Afton or any of the um, missing children, um, it focused uh, focused on the crying child uh, um, who uh, in 1983 got his frontal lobe bitten off and we're playing as his older brother in having nightmares of the animatronics he, for some reason that, that's a little bit messy. Anyway, um, again, this one didn't focus as much on the, the law, but it did um, sort of just like introduce a new character and then kill them off, basically. Um, so it did progress the law a little bit, but it was like more of a, instead of progressing the main law, it was like going back and revealing more like kind of side law, not to do with like the missing children or William Afton, uh, the killer purple guy. It's just like a side, more of a um, side thing. Uh, FNAF 5, sister location. Um, again, didn't really progress William Afton, you know, the pit killer paper guy story at all. It was more about Baby and uh, um, how uh, Elizabeth Afton came to possess. possess um, the baby animatronic and uh, how they escaped from uh, the uh, babies from babies um, rentals and entertainment to um, and became entered and in between FNAF 5 and FNAF 6 baby got booted out of the entered clan in, uh, which was discovered in a conversation on the page, which I really think that was a bad way of doing it. Like, they they should have done it because, like, most people who don't really um, keep up with like the stuff that aren't in the video games are going to go from FNAF five to FNAF six. Like, why is Baby separate from Ennard now? And it's like that was just a really bad way, in my opinion, of. Um, revealing that, but anyway, we're not here to criticize 
Scott's way of revealing that. Uh, basically, FNAF 6 wraps the entire thing up. Uh, you, Michael Afton, are tasked by Henry Emily, uh, P the killer paper guy, is a uh, business partner. Um, also, by the way, at the end of FNAF 5, um, the character you play as Michael Afton, the, the older brother to Crying Child, son of Purple Killer Guy, and older brother to uh, uh, Elizabeth Afton, puked up, uh, entered, and survived. Yeah, this series gets weird sometimes, but, um, yeah, in FNAF 7, he's there, he's collecting all the pieces on behalf of Henry and Emily, the uh, business partner of William Afton, the killer purple guy, uh, and also the father to the girl who possesses a puppet, um, and you're there to collect all the remaining pieces of William Afton's legacy, William Afton himself, um, uh, Lefty, who now has the puppet inside of him, because uh, it was designed to trap and contain the puppet, you know, find and contain the puppet. Um, you have Molten Freddy, which is Ballora and Funtime Foxy and Funtime Freddy, who, which we found out, uh, uh, found out later, later, uh, uh, the, is the uh, Funtime Freddy and Funtime Foxy uh, is the amalgamation of the original missing children uh, well, I don't know if they were missing children but the original Freddy Foxy Bonnie Chica Chica's combined soul souls in that one animatronic um, and Baby who is again uh, Elizabeth Afton um, and then the entire place burns in one big final climactic um, ending, and yeah, I really like that ending. I think that was a fitting ending for the Five Nights at Freddy's William Afton storyline. And then in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, it looks like it was a sort of like a soft reboot, sort of just like saying that the previous games were just made by Rogue Indie game developer and taken and you know full of like lies and stuff. so it's just like oh so we can say that this still continues on the store but like it turns out that um, the later one that the indie Rogue, indie Rogue Indie game developer was actually hired by Fazbear Entertainment to make light of the murdered children so by the end of this we can say okay so the FNAF games are canonic still ca canonical but they're, m they're not like um a hundred percent one-to-one and there may be some different differences in here so we can go forward knowing that the uh time the timeline events we have now is going to be mostly correct and we can use it as a baseline but to not take it out to 100% um, uh, real um, and then we have the introduction of Glitch Trap who has taken over Vanessa's boss body and then we have like he's just, like Vanessa being the next to me right there is my hair oh my hair's a little bit stuck up anyway um, and uh, yeah and I was really excited that at this point in time, because like, oh yes, we're leaving behind, the, you know, William Afton, Baby, and the, all the old the characters, and we're going to get new characters, new faces, new challenges. Yeah, about that. FNAF, security breach happened, and while we did get some new faces like Monty Gator, Roxanne Wolf, uh, Sundrop and Moondrop, and the Vanny, I guess you could say, but she's a carryover from the previous game. We didn't really get that much. We got the return of Freddy, we got the return of Chica, Bonnie sort of half returned. Um, might be mentioned, but never actually seen in the game. Um, Foxy returned, but not actually. He's just like, he's in like cardboard box, like a uh, movie. Like promotional material, and that's pretty much it. Same for, for Bonnie, and yeah. 
So we we have we have a mix of old and new, which is a little bit disappointing because I would like to see a new cast of entirely new animatronics because um, it was stated at the end of Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Pizzeria Simulator that um, Fazbear Entertainment no longer existed as a corporate entity so this is like doesn't make too much sense for Fazbear Entertainment to be back as a corporate entity um, and you could also say the same thing for um, Help Wanted um, so yeah um, but then you have the fact that um, if you uh, you know, get the real end, true ending. William Afton's back! Again! And it's like, why? He's been banned now on three separate occasions. Remnant is supposed to be destroyed by heat. Why? Why is he back? Why? We literally saw him, baby, and uh, um. Molten Freddy burn at the end of the last game, along with Michael Afton and Henry Emily, who uh, was in the same fucking building. Oh, it's just like I was so excited to ha finally have new something new and different, but no, they had to bring fucking Rafton back again. Why can't they, not only that, but they bring in the blob, which is just an amalgamation of the animatronics that was in the fire with him, with him. So you have essentially the return of Baby and the Molten Freddy again. And it's just like, why? Just leave these characters to die. Think of something new and unique. I don't want... Re we, the, the, and this is something that, not just me, but it seems like a lot of people pretty much universally agree on. We don't want William Afton for the 50th fucking time. We want something new. Like every, pretty much everybody was disappointed when it was like, ah, oh, it's just William Afton's just back. Again. And it was like, oh my god, we're after that. I'm so excited for that. And it was like, uh, he's back again. And it's just like, why? Why? Just do something new. Um, and then you also have. And then, if you look deeper, then you find out that Gregory isn't actually a new character. He's actually a, the rebuild version of the Crying Child. And Freddy isn't actually Freddy, he's Michael Afton. And uh, Vanny isn't Vanny, she's actually Henry, uh, not Henry Emily, she's uh, Elizabeth Afton. And it's just like... So you make two new characters, but then you just turn them, those two new characters, into like reincarnations or, or re like basically rebuilt versions of old characters. I. And I was just looking at the game from law, from like the law, just law perspective as well. And characters are like, oh, they could have done something really new, cool, and unique. But no, they just fall back, fell back on the same old bullshit again. Um, but then not only that, but I don't like that part. I can that part was pretty much me entirely lagging on the game developers here. Like, while not all of them would have had 
the like um, power over this like the game director or whoever was like in charge of the plot of this game were really just fucked it up. They like the the law of the game is the weakest in my opinion, and that says something being as how I really don't like sister location that much. Like they some of the the atmosphere was alright, but these jump scares were not scary at all. The law was muddled and confused and weird at times um especially for that point in the series and yeah i wasn't a big fan of but honestly sister location much better like it did better, much better for the law and it had better jump scares ironically like i, I never thought we'd get a fnaf game that had less scary that was less scary than sister location but security breach does that and it's like what's the point in calling this a horror game anymore seriously um and you have the fact that the game is just not finished there's like zero play testing. I'm trying to make a zero there. There's like zero play testing. There's just bugs everywhere. Like off the top of my head, I know of at least one game breaking bug. Basically, um, after Vanessa catches you, you get put into this office and then you have to escape at office, office to escape Vanny. Um, but if you then after that go back to the office, it'll um, re-trigger the Vanny sequence and break, pretty much break the game and this could end up corrupting your game file. How the fuck did that get past quality control? If there was any quality control. Like, that should not have been a thing. Like, seriously, how did they... Fuck the game, like, seriously, the, like, uh, another time, um, they basically have Monty on this building operating a, um, a, um, light that you're supposed to avoid. If you repeatedly exit and if you go out of that area and then go back into that area, it'll duplicate that Monty and then, uh, because, and because I'm, what the Monty that was there was never meant to be roaming around. The Monty that is duplicated is like a super Monty that never loses track of Gregory and uh, um, just runs after him at full speed. And again, because it's a duplicate in the Monty, you could do this as many times as you want and have an army of super Montys. Again, how did that get past any quality control? or bug testing like this game was not ready to be released this game should have been delayed again and it's just like that's again that's not the game developers um you know fault that's probably the fault of like the hires it's like oh we need to get this out by christmas so don't i don't care if it's buggy or not just release it and uh, we'll patch it later. We need the money now to keep the investors happy until I can buy a fit a million f yacht. Well, no, a million Tesla and a 50th yacht. It's like, <sighs> and, you know, and you know, the game developers are gonna get flack for this, and and. Uh, let me emphasize now. I do not condone harassing anybody. Right? These are just game developers. They're, at the end of the day, they don't have uh, a say on when the game gets released and what in what state it gets released. Um, because no matter what they had done, the game would have been released anyway. And the best that they could have done is just knuckle down and got as much of it done. As possible before the release date, um, but this game just has tons of like cut content, 
unfinished shit and it's just like it should not have been released like there was a bowling mini game never done finished uh there's like level 10 9 and 8 security which i think you can only get up to level 7 i think you can only get it's either like 7 or 8 which is the max level security so they were there was originally more like security passes that you were originally intended to be able to collect Freddy can open any door just by walking up to him and you can and uh, you can just get through any door that you want in the game by getting in Freddy, walking up to that door and then getting out of Freddy to glitch through the door. Um, the AI is buggy and broken. Like, it's not as buggy and broken as say Cyber Cyberpunk 2077. But it's just barely a bit better like you could say that cyberpunk 2077 was held together by a shoestring fnaf her fnaf security breach half of it was held together by a bit this shoestring one quarter of it wasn't held together by anything and the third quarter was well put together and nicely polished but that's just one quarter of the game like the small minority of the game is well polished and put together the rest of the game is either held together by a shoestring or not held together at all and just falls apart if you look at it wrong so you have so at the end of the day you have the most disappointing and underwhelming game Gameplay wise, because it's so broke, buggy, broken, and the, the glitchy, you have the most underwhelming game law wise, because it does nothing new with the law. It's just the exact same shit, just with a new coat of paint. And yeah, it's just the most disappointing um, game and has the most wasted potential. And the most frustrating thing is that you can't say Vanessa and stop William Afton at the same time so and the, so if you go after Vanessa you know if you try to like kill Vanessa or save Vanessa you just end up leaving, leaving the pizza plex after that no really nothing to do with William and you just leave William, leave William Afton, Afton to do whatever he wants to do but then if you go to fight William Afton then Bunny just gets ignored entirely and uh, so far I know the William Afton ending is the canonical ending so it's just like what happened to Vanny because she just does not turn up for that entire section did she like burn in the building or what, what, what happened here and it's just like mm. again it's just frustrating and it's just Bad. It's just bad. Why? Yeah. Like, I I don't know. Like there there was like in like um people want to say that to might might say well they they maybe did have plans to not make Gregory a reincarnation of the crying child because there was like cut lines where. Freddy stays like Gregory is bleeding, but um, it's just like even then, it's been shown in the books that oh, you can actually um, that rebuilt um, children don't even know that they're robots and they can like bleed and it, the. Uh, they need to like eat, sleep, and uh, urinate and poop. So it's just like even that really doesn't disprove it. And they can be like so realistic that they have canonically sexually aroused a human being. So it's just like, yeah, I don't think bleeding is really the smoking gun you think it is. So it's just like. I don't know if the, I don't know if they originally planned it to be like this, but it's just like, well, not they definitely didn't plan it to be buggy, broken, and glitchy. 
but I don't know if they plan it to be like Gregory being the reincarnation of Crying Child and Vanny being the reincarnation of Elizabeth and Freddie being the reincarnation of uh, Michael or if this is a thing that came in later on because they were like too scared that going in a different direction would turn off fans it was like oh we don't want to we don't want to do anything new or unique or original because I might make fans angry or not like the game for reasons so let's just do the exact same thing as the past game, few games but with a new coat of paint this time but, but not too new just a little bit just new enough that we can make sure it's making the game look new and unique but for it to not actually be new and unique and I, I, again I don't know what the game developers wanted going in or how things changed during game development mind you uh, I've heard that apparently um, some anonymous game developers from Steel Wool have said that developing the game was um, I can't remember the exact wording they used but it was like rough and um, rushed and not the, the development on the game did not go well apparently um, so it's just like If so, um, but I, I don't want to be completely just like ragging on the game. If if I was a, the head of Steel Wall while making this game, what would have I done? Well, I would have made it so it's like focus more on Vanny and the, the glitch trap rather than spring trap. Like maybe not even have glitch, not even like have glitch trap be the big bad. Make Vanny be the big bad, but. Um, like but being like controlled by glitch trap and it, uh, just make it so like um, maybe she's just like killing kids again or um, glitch trap is trying to spread himself and infect more people or something like that and we basically gotta save Vanny before she like kills more kids or before she spreads the glitch trap um, virus and I think that would have been a more unique and fun storyline and again and this would be like focusing on Vanny a new character uh, we could have just like maybe keep Gregory or maybe have a new character like somebody like somebody who uh, like an like a um, in independent uh, um, the oh, what was weird like in independent detective, independent investigator, PI, PI, private investigator, like have a PI, maybe like um, may like you could like keep the whole like recordings just, like Va Vanessa, uh, in the uh with the psychiatrist, just keep them and just like um, maybe have the PI hired by the family of one of the psychiatrists that Vanny killed, um, to like investigate the death of their loved one and then they and then that like leads them into like um investigating vanny um and then uh start finding out all about vanny and vanessa vanny and glitch trap and all that um and uh, uh maybe don't use Freddy, Foxy, Bonnie and Chica and like come up with new animatronics I think you know using some new animatronics would have been um, much better because again that's just more new and unique and maybe we could have them have their own personalities because I like what they did with like Roxanne with her being like all um, cocky and um, gloating all the time but she, she actually got um, crippling depression like I like that hat giving the animatronics more of a unique personality and maybe um, you could still have um, them be the main but be like uh, grunts of Vanny still but um, you know there could be like one good one or something uh, for whatever reason um, 
and that one good one like basically tells you tells the PI about Vanny and the, the, uh, what she's done like maybe uh, one of it like saw her witnessed her killing the children and then like maybe you could say that um, in that as the kids were dying some of their remnant uh, was infused with that animatronic but not a lot of it because the bodies weren't put into the animatronic so only some of their uh, remnants could uh, be infused into the animatronic meaning that uh, they can't fully control it but they can sort of in they still have like influence over it like that and then have them be that you know sort of like guide and help the player a bit like what they did with Gregory and Freddy but you know an entirely new animatronic with new uh, personality um, and uh, yeah and you know I think that would have been much better and just like uh, and then you could still keep like a multiple ending like have an ending where you just straight up kill Vanny have a mul or have an ending where you um, free Vanessa from Glitchstrap's control um, and you know just like that like that would have been fine um or ha and like maybe have an, have like fail failure and it's like have an ending where um uh, glitch trap does manage to spread the uh by where she does manage to spread the glitch trap virus and you can see the ramifications of that or just have her continue murdering kids but i think the spreading the glitch trap virus is more interesting really because we saw just had bog standard child murderers already so why not just do something new um yeah and obviously fucking finish the game before releasing it um uh, that pretty much should go without saying but yeah so yeah I, I do wish security breach wasn't just disappointing in every single possible way it could have been disappointing like it could have been much better but it just from them just not doing anything new and what they have done is broken or just not really done well it just means that this is just a bad game and I'm sorry but it's true it's bad like maybe after, by the end of the year or next year once they've released a bunch of patches for the game like maybe it won't be as buggy it won't be buggy and broken but it's just like that's not the main problem with really. like that maybe they could polish it a bit more but it's just like you're still gonna have the problem that it's the law is underwhelming and the gameplay is flawed at best and yeah it's yeah and I don't know it's it, it's just not well I again I do wish it was a good game but it's just, it's just not I'm I'm sorry if if you enjoy this game that's fine but it's not a good game unfortunately anyway i'll see you guys in what in whatever live stream or video i decide to do next and bye bye